Instagram image size. Okay, so you are ready to start getting your pictures to put on Instagram. And if you've ever been to Instagram, you probably already know that when pictures come through, they're square. Exactly, square, not rectangle, nothing else, square. So what we want to look at is what size you're going to need to have your images. You can have them as large as 1080 by 1080. This is pixels, not centimeters, not inches, pixels. They can be as small as 650 by 650 pixels. Keep them square, people. All right. Now, I personally use 1080 by 1080 images. And the reason for this is sites tend to change things as they grow, as whether they go for mobile, how different things are all affect what they do on their sites. And we can't go back and change things. So if for any reason Instagram would decide they wanted to go bigger, it was when they started 650 by 650. Well, all those images now might be stretched. I didn't belong way back then. But it's always better to have a big image and have the site shrink it down rather than have a small image that has to be stretched. Anytime you stretch an image, you lose quality. So I go with the 1080 by 1080. Also, what I want you to think about is when you're going to take your pictures, if you are not taking a square picture, I know some phone settings you can do a square picture. If you're using a regular camera, you're not going to probably get square. Most people don't have it set on there, although you could. Most of them are a rectangle image. So when you get ready to, you see something and you think, oh, I want a picture of that to put on Instagram. I want you to keep a few things in mind. You're going to have to crop that image to make it square. So if you're taking a picture of a car, the car might be this long. Well, if it takes up most of the area when you take that picture, you're not going to be able to crop it square. So your only options are to make the image small, put it on a square background, or to line it up when you go to take the image, get back a little ways so that you can crop a square out of the full image. It, it's not that hard to do. You just have to think for a couple seconds, hey, if I'm going to use this on Instagram, where do I need it positioned in this image? Also, something to think about is when you're taking your image and you know you're going to have to crop it square, are you going to have room for, say, your logo, your watermark? Is it something you're going to want to have so you could put a quote on it or some kind of text? If so, you want to make sure that when you crop it square, you're still going to have room for those things without it going over the main part of your image. So before you just go out and say, I'm going to take a picture of everything to put on Instagram, take a minute to kind of look once you line up with whatever it is and think, can I square this up? And can I ha still have room to put my logo, my watermarks, my text, whatever it is you need to set it off. So there you go. 1080 by 1080 is what I recommend. Look on your phone under your modes. A lot of times they allow you to take square images. If they do, you're halfway there. You don't have as much editing and it makes it a lot easier. So I think you're about ready to go take some pictures. Get out your cameras. Go outside. Find something. I know you can do it.